welcome to EC Electronics. Today's video we are going to prepare for GATE 2020 and we are going to do the questions of a rectifier session in this video. Okay, so the question is a full wave rectifier supplies a load of 1 kilo ohm. So we are talking about full wave rectifier. The AC voltage supplied to diode is 120 volt. That is the RMS value of AC voltage is given. If diode resistance is neglected, what is the ripple voltage? So this question is based on the ripple voltage. So the options given are option A 0.562 volt, B 0.785 volt, C 0.954 volt or D 0.344 volt. Okay, so before answering this question, you should have an idea about ripple. So what is actually ripple? So we know that a rectifier is converting an AC that is alternating current to DC that is direct current. So when this conversion is being done, some portion of the AC will get incorporated into the output or there will be some fluctuations in the DC output due to the presence of some AC component and this fluctuations or variations present in your steady current or the DC current is called ripple. So this is actually some problem which is happening in the rectifier. So there will be some fluctuations in your output and this output is termed as ripple. Now we have to answer this question to find your ripple voltage. So which where will be this ripple present? This ripple voltage will be present in the output side. Okay, so we are talking about a full wave rectifier. And what all things are given in the question? The AC voltage supplied to the diode is 220 volt. Or we can write it as V RMS of the that is AC voltage. RMS value of the AC voltage is given. That is 220 volt. Also, we are given the load resistor value that is RL equal to 1 kilo ohm. Okay. Now, we have to find the ripple voltage. So, the equation for finding the ripple voltage is that is V gamma RMS. So, the ripple is generally denoted using the letter gamma. Okay. So, the V gamma RMS equal to the ripple factor gamma into V D C by 100. Now, this V D C is your D C voltage or D C output voltage. Now, this is your equation to find the answer for this question. But in order to find this answer, we have to know what is V D C. Again, V D C equal to or a DC voltage is equal to 0.6. 36 into V peak or your peak voltage that is your peak AC voltage. Now we are given only the RMS AC voltage right. So from the RMS AC voltage how will you find the peak AC voltage that is V peak equal to or the peak AC voltage is equal to V RMS into root 2. So these things or these equations you should know. So if we substitute this V peak as V RMS into root 2, we can directly find the answer because we already know our V RMS as 224. So what I will do is I will uh, remove this V peak and I will write it as uh, V RMS into root 2. Okay. Now I can substitute my values and find the value of V D C. Right. 0 0.636 into 220 into root. Now, if you solve this, you will get it as 198 volt is your DC voltage value. Now, you can substitute it into your main equation, which is your VDC. Oh, sorry, V RMS equation. You have your VDC value, right? So, I can substitute it here as 198. Again, I need one thing, the ripple factor. Now, the ripple factor for our full wave rectifier is our constant value that is gamma equal to 0 0.482 is your ripple factor for all full wave rectifiers that is a constant thing. So you can substitute it here as 0 0.482 and just solve this and then you will get your ripple voltage. Okay, so if you solve it. That is 0 0.482 into 
1.98 and you will get it as 0 0.954 is your answer and the correct answer for this question is option C that is V gamma RMS equal to 0 0.954 volt. The next question which we are going to see is from the center tap full wave rectifier session. So in a center tap full wave rectifier the input sine wave is 250 sin 100t. The output ripple frequency will be what? 50 hertz, B 100 hertz, C 25 hertz or D 200 hertz. So we are talking about the frequencies here. So for a uh, center tab full wave rectifier, the output frequency will be twice as that of the input frequency. So output frequency equal to 2 into input frequency. So this thing you should know. Again, we are just given a sine wave equation. And the equation for a sine wave, in general, we have Vm sine omega t. So here, the Vm sine omega t is 250 sine omega t. So Vm is a peak voltage or the maximum voltage. So we don't have to think about this voltage because, because we are talking about the frequency here. So, in order to find the frequency, we should know what is omega. So, omega is, if you match these two terms, we will get omega as, sorry, here omega is 100. Okay. So, if you match these two terms, we will get omega equal to 100, right? So, how will you find omega is 100? Then, how will you find the frequency f from omega or the angular frequency? Then, that is omega equal to Sorry, F equal to 100 by 2 or omega by 2 in general. Okay, so if you solve this, F equal to how much? 50 hertz, right? So, here you will get your F is 50 hertz, which is your input frequency. Now, you have to find the output ripple frequency. That is F equal to, okay, that is your uh, input frequency is, 50 then your output frequency will be 2 times input frequency so that is your 100 hertz so answer is b 100 hertz so the answer for this question is 100 hertz a full wave rectifier uses load resistor 1500 ohm assume that the diode have rf that is a forward resistance of the diode is 10 ohm and a reverse resistance is infinity now the voltage applied to the diode is 30 volt with a frequency of 50 hertz. Calculate the AC input power or the input power. A 368.98 milliwatt, B 275.2 milliwatt, C 145.76 milliwatt or D 456.78 milliwatt. So we have to find the AC input power that is P A C or P input we have to find. The equation for finding the P input or the power input or the AC power equal to I square RMS that is current square into RF which is your diode resistance forward resistance plus low resistance R. So this equation you should by heart. So you know that Power is I square into R or V into I or V square by R. These are the equations for power, right? So, here we are calculating the which power? AC power or the input power. So, input current square into forward resistance of the diode plus RL which is your load resistor. So, here RF and RL is given. We have to find this IRMS. So, I RMS equal to the RMS value of your input AC current equal to the peak current by root 2. Okay. So, we have to, we don't have any idea about the current here because we are not talking about anything about current. But we have given the voltage, right. So, we have given the voltage or the Vm is given as 30 volt here. Because 30 volt is applied to the diode means Vm is 30 volt. So, so when Vm is 30 volt, 
we can find im im or the current equal to im equal to vm by r f plus r l so here we are applying ohm's law right so we know that current equal to voltage by resistance so vm is given what is vm vm is 30 volt 30 by rf is given as RF is the forward resistance of your diode. Since the diode only conducts in forward direction and the reverse direction it will be not conducting. So the reverse resistance is infinity. So these things you have to figure out from the question. So the uh, RF is 10 and RL is we know that it is 1500 ohm. And we have to solve this in order to get your IM value. And you will get it as 30.5 milliampere is your IM or the peak current value. Now when you have your IM, you can substitute it in the power equation, right? So I'm going to substitute that in my power equation now. So I have my IM. So 13.5 milliampere. We need RMS value. So by root 2 into square into RF is 10 plus 1500. So I'm going to remove these things. I can expand this is 13.5 into 10 raised to milliampere means 10 raised to minus 3. The whole square root 2 square is 2 into 1510. Take that sum then you will get 1510. So your answer will be 275.2 millivolt is your answer. So the power AC or your input power equal to 275.2 millivolt. The correct answer for this question is option B. Okay, so these are the questions which I have included in this video. So we are doing problems on rectifier session. This will be useful for your gate exam preparation and also for your, if you're preparing for ISRO, this will be useful. So please do subscribe the channel for more such videos for your exam preparations or for your study purpose. If you are an electronics inspired student, subscribe the channel for your exam preparations such as gate exam or uh, UPSC or PSC or your ISRO exam preparation if you're preparing for don't forget to give it a thumbs up if the videos are useful. Thank you.